Hi, my name's Nikki Hollander. Welcome to U Train. Okay, we're gonna start with the warm up. Okay, so make sure you're going with a nice, easy pace. This is full squats, and this is the lovely Cassie that is performing it for us. If you see Cassie's form, how she goes to 90 degrees with her legs, that is important, okay? Because getting down to 90 degrees is gonna recruit all the muscles you need to, okay? Go at a pace that you can do for the 60 seconds, okay? Try not to go too slow and, and, and not really engage your muscles and try not to go too fast and burn yourself out because after all, this is the warm up. Cassie's doing a great job. Her hands are coming forward to give her a little bit of counterbalance. You can do that too at home. Try and keep up with her pace. That's it, she's one of my favorite demonstrators because her form is exemplary. Her feet are straight forward. She gets her butt right down and she keeps a good pace. And I can see that she's, she's hurting a little bit now, okay? She's feeling it. She's not going too fast though. Okay, now the next warm up exercise is neutral under grip roll, which is a really fancy way of saying pull ups with your hands facing yourself. Okay, so I want you to make sure your neck is right back, keeping your spine in a neutral position. Go at a pace that you can do this for one minute, okay? This is not such an easy exercise, but if you pace yourself, you will be able to get to the end of that exercise, engaging the muscles and not blowing them up so you can't do anything else, okay? Notice that Cassie is not moving the lower part of her legs, okay? This is an upper body exercise. This is to warm up the shoulders. This is to get the back firing. This is to get you in the mood to working out. Try to keep at her pace because that's a good solid pace for a warm up. If you can, that's great. If you can't, slow it down a little bit. If this is a little bit difficult, you can shift your feet a little bit towards the bar, make it a little bit easier for yourself. If this is a little bit too easy, pull them back. Okay, the next warm up exercise, and I hope you guys managed to keep pace there, or if not, keep it a strong enough pace that you felt it. The next warm up exercise is warrior sit up. Okay, so what's happening here, as Cassie's demonstrating is, you're going from a plank position, supine, which basically means on your back, tucking your knees in, grabbing them, and pulling your upper body off the floor. What is getting your upper body off the floor is your abs. Make sure you're engaging those. What is getting your knees to your chest is your abs. Make sure you're engaging those, because this is about warming up your abs. Now, Cassie's going at a decent pace as usual. Try to keep up with her. If you can smile like she's smiling, then that's a good thing. If you need to take a breath and breathe, then continue breathing throughout the exercise. You can put a mat underneath you if you're at home to make it a little bit easier on your back and the butt. Nice work, I hope you managed to keep up with that. Okay, you've got two minutes of our warm up left, two minutes of our warm up. You should be feeling a little warm by now, okay? So this would normally be performed with a bar, but right now we're in warm up, so we're doing it without a bar, she's getting down nice and low. So that's engaging her quads, that's enga engaging her glute, engaging her hamstrings. And when she reaches down, she's engaging her shoulders. And when she reaches up, again, she's engaging her shoulders, but also part of her back. Go at a speed that you can do without stressing yourself too much. Again, this is a warm up, I can't stress that enough. Try not to go too fast, but again, not too slow, because we have to engage those muscles. And Amanda, she's a pretty fit girl, so she's going nice and strong speed. You have 10 seconds left, keep it going. Come too far to stop now, keep going. Well done, keep it going. Don't forget guys, we're doing a five minute warm up followed by a 10 minute exercise routine, so keep it going guys. This fifth warm up exercise is the neutral push up. Okay, neutral push up. Notice that Steve's hands are right in line with his shoulders, his back, is in a neutral position. This is the last warm up exercise, so you can push it a little bit on the speed, make sure you tuck your elbows in, his elbows are not flaring out, he's tucking his elbows in. And after we've done this warm up exercise, we're gonna get into a 10 minute upper body workout. Okay, so this is the last chance you have to wake your body up, get yourself ready to really sweat and do something good for the day. Keep that going, head nice and forward, Breathing throughout, okay? If you breathe, you can get through this. If you hold your breath, this is gonna be hard. Nice. And 
come on up, ready to burn some calories and do an awesome 10 minute upper body workout. We're going on to under grip row. You've seen this one in the warm up, but this time it's different. Now we're going for it. Now you have 45 seconds. So try to keep pace with Cassie. Breathe in. This is where we're gonna sweat. This is the meat and potatoes of the exercise, okay? Now, we warmed your body up. This is about getting it in shape. Make sure you're contracting from your back. The movement comes from your back here. Keeping your legs in a nice neutral position. Head back, but really, really concentrate on upping the tempo here, okay? Because this is what it's all about. Okay, if you finish this exercise and you had a few more left, not so good. The sweat should be coming a little bit. You should be breathing a little heavier. Nice work. Okay, keep that going. Don't forget, you're gonna have 15 seconds rest at the end of this. Nice, keep that going. Squeeze in from the back. Nice work, Cassie did a great job there. I hope you did too. Now we're gonna move on to wide push-ups beginner. Catching your breath, getting your rest. Good, now we've got a really good looking uh, person to uh, demonstrate this. Try to keep up with him, that's right. Watch how I keep my hands nice and wide and get into a strong pace. Now, although this is a beginner exercise, you should, by the end of it, be feeling this and it should be right to your limit. If not, then maybe you shouldn't have been on beginner. You should step up one. But if this, you can take this speed to your maximum at the end, then you are on beginner. Now notice how the only thing that's moving is I'm, is I'm flexing my elbows 90 degrees up and down at a good strong pace and breathing. Good, keep that pace going. You have 10 seconds left. Keep that going right to the end. Almost there, keep going, last few, keep pushing, and step up, nice work. Now take your 15 seconds breath, and rest, well done. Okay, take your 15 seconds rest, we're going into side plank. Okay, I'm gonna show you how side plank goes. We're gonna set up, but keep taking your breath down because we're not going yet. Put yourself nicely in a side position, basically a plank position on your elbow, and we're raising from the hips, okay? Now, the two muscles on the side of, of your abs are called your obliques, okay? They help you move sideways, they help you rotate your body, but really they make us look great when they're tight and they're really trained, they really make you look in great shape. Every 15 seconds, I want you to rotate positions, okay? You put yourself on your opposite elbow and you keep that going. Notice I'm controlled, I'm breathing, and I'm raising from the hips, engaging my obliques. Nice work. Form is important here because the movement can come from so many places. Nice work, really good. Keep up with me at home, keep up with me, well done. Coming into partial rolls, beginner. Okay, now watch Cassie. She's gonna take a breath, feet nice and neutral, back neutral, head back, breathe, and let's go. Good. Nice, strong pace for a beginner, okay? Think about this, this is about engaging your back. A lot of times we get into something which is called kyphotic. Kyphotic means your shoulders come forward, you have bad posture, this is gonna help pull those shoulders back, it's gonna help get into the back, you're gonna feel great once you've done this. Make sure you squeeze from the upper back though, okay? It's not, for, you're not pulling from your forearms, you're not pulling from your fingers, you're squeezing your lower back. That's why your head is tilted back. Good, keep that pace going. If this pace is a good one for you, you've got five seconds left, then that's great, you're at beginner level. Well done, Cassie did great, I hope you did too. Now, moving on to Cobra push-ups for beginner. Again, now, Steve's placing his hands nice and square to his shoulders. Now, he's lowering his pelvis to the floor and it's all about the upper body, okay? He's driving from his elbows, flexing and extending, flexing and extending, but notice how he's not raising anything above his torso. He's going at quite a strong pace now, but still, it's in the beginner range, so if you could keep up with this, then you should be at the beginner range. If this ends up being too easy, step it up. This is all about burning calories. This is all about getting fit. Nice, keep that breath going. Think about what a good job you're doing for yourself today. Think about what this is gonna allow you to do. The rest of the day, got 10 seconds left. Keep pushing till the end. 
Good. Keep that going. You can see even Steve struggling right here, but keep that going and step to the front. Well done. We're coming into neutral undergrip row, but take your breath. Don't be talking to your friends. Work on getting oxygen into your body. Good. Notice the setup that Cassie's done. Nice shoulder width apart with her feet. Palms facing her. And engage. Good. Work that upper back. Squeeze in from the shoulder blades, okay? The muscles by the shoulder blades are called your rhomboids. That's what we're working here. Pull your shoulders back. Think about it, women. Think about being in a dress, having your shoulders pulled back. That's what frames your body. Your shoulders are forward. Doesn't look good. This exercise is going to help pull those shoulders back and make you look good. Nice. Keep that nice pace. Keep the head back. We want by 45 seconds, you want to be tapped out on that back. So try to keep the pace with Cassie. She's doing a great job. I hope you are too. You have 10 seconds to go. Keep that going. Good. If you're struggling, think about why you're doing this. You're trying to get in shape. We're nearly there. Last couple of seconds and rest. Nice. Coming into wide push-ups. Okay. Now watch how I demonstrate this. I'm taking my breath now. I haven't done anything, but you have. So make sure you're catching your breath. Good. Okay. Set up hands a little wider than shoulder width and boom look my pace is quicker now my pace is upped and yours should be too by the end of this exercise you should be feeling it on your chest okay you should be burning so try to keep in pace with me if you can great okay this is beginner level okay if you're feeling it and you've gone out a bit fast maybe you can slow it down nice keep that breath going each time you push up try to breathe out you have 10 seconds to go, okay? Push till the end. If it's burning, you're doing it right. Don't shortchange yourself. Get to the end. Five seconds. Keep it going. Almost there. And rest. That's about all I had in there as well. Good. You have 15 seconds rest. Okay, guys, coming into side plank, okay? Take a look at me now. There's very little movement wasted here. I'm drop down on my side, left elbow down. Leg straight, this is about the obliques, okay? Obliques are those two muscles on the side of your abs, okay, that look really good. But you know, as well as looking really good, you know what they do? They help twist your body, they help move your body, okay? You want that waist to look good? It's not gonna do it by itself. There's no magic pill, no magic potion. You keep going. That's how we get in shape. Nice work, you should have switched sides now. Straight legs drive from the waist. Okay, this, you could do this exercise wrong very easily by moving from the wrong place. Really focus on your oblique, okay? Keep that going all the way to the end. Keep breathing. Nice work, guys. Keep up with me. Excellent. And rest. Good job. Coming into partial rows. Okay, breathe. Oxygen in, one hand facing, one hand facing away. Make sure you're switching those hands when you're facing one away, facing one, two. And let's go. Here we go. Cassie again, watch her. Engaging the rhomboids. Do you see any other part of Cassie moving? No, it's just flex and bend of the elbows, okay? Really, what you want to think about here is a penny between your shoulder blades. You put a penny between your shoulder blades. Each time you get to the top, you squeeze that penny. Nice work. Keep that going. Keep at her pace because that's where we're at right now. Nice work. Good, keep that going at home. Keep working, knowing you're doing something that you're gonna benefit, not just today, not just tomorrow, but for a long time to come. Keep that coming, 10 seconds to go. Almost there. Good, keep pushing right to the end, keep going, and rest. Well done. Good job at home. Take your 15 seconds rest because we're coming into Cobra push-ups one more time. For me personally, this is one of the toughest exercises. Really work on keeping your torso still and just flexing and bending your elbows. Okay, that's why we get Steve to do it because Steve's one of the toughest, toughest cookies we have, okay? Look at that movement. He's arching. He's arching from his back. Just think about what a Cobra does and how a Cobra looks. That's exactly what Steve's doing there and I hope you're doing it at home. Nice work all the way. We're pushing that pace on a bit. Keep going. Keep with him. Breathing. You should be breathing out each time you get to the top. Breathing in as you're going down. You have 15 seconds to go. Keep it going. Look at his hands. Shoulder width apart. Form doesn't break down. Keep it going right to the end. We're almost there. You have five seconds. Don't give up now. To the end. 
two, one, keep that going, one more, push it out, and well done, nice job, come on up, excellent work. If you survive this U-Train workout, come back tomorrow for more, or subscribe now, and check out What the Heck Are You Eating?, where Joy Bauer breaks down the good and the bad in your favorite foods. These U-Train workouts have been powered by Power Music.